How old are you? 26. Are you single? No. How long you been in a relationship? Three years, you can say. What made you commit to your man instead of telling him to kick rocks? Um, he's a good guy at the end of the day. He's the first guy, I'll say, that made me want something more serious. Mm. Like, I never really believed in marriage and stuff and all that, but with mm. him, I could see it. So... You were kind of a player yourself before he came around. Why she gotta be a player? I was a player, but I had options, but no one ever interested me enough that I was like, okay, like I can see a life with this person. Did you come to this realization at year three, or was this at year one and a half? No, it was like a few months in. That's when you realized. Yeah, yeah. He's my person. So what was it about him that just signified that? The person that I was around him, like, he brought out a playful side, like, a very comfortable side. I'm usually a really shy person. First off, I want to compliment her on finding true love, okay? Uh, if somebody brings something out in you that you did not know was there, that's somebody you need to keep close. That doesn't necessarily mean you have to be in a relationship with that person, but that's somebody you need to keep close because that's a potential life partner. You know what I mean? And the reason why I say it doesn't necessarily mean you need to be in a relationship, I'm going to change my words. You don't need to force a relationship with that person. If you find somebody that's that's making you feel special, but they're not ready for a relationship, don't force it, but keep them around because that is a potential life partner. Fellas, one thing she said, before she found her person, she had options. A lot of you don't be having no options. We need to work on having, well, <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm married. Y'all need to work on having options. These females out here moving like GMs. They giving 10 day contracts. Oh my God. Every couple videos, we come across white folks doing white folks shit. And what I say, White folks are fearless because my black ass would not be doing that. There is no way, there is no content that important for me to skateboard in front of a car going 30 miles an hour, knowing that if I possibly fall, that that car is going to squash me. But no, that didn't stop him. Now, shout them. Shout out to the brakes. <laughs> shout out to the brakes because the brakes just prevented this man from being roadkill. But like I say, White folks are fearless. Top of the evening, ATL. Atlanta is not a real place. Whilst out on our outings this morning, this is what we witnessed. Hey, bro, get your ass up with that bull, bro. Bro, bro. Bro, get your ass up with that fake ass, bro. Welcome to America. Get up and get your insurance card out. Oh God, I don't want to laugh. I don't need to laugh. I don't need to be laughing. Well, they might deport that ass. <laughs> hey, bro, quit that fake ass, bro. Let me tell you something. I promised myself that if anybody, God forbid, God forbid, I promised myself if anybody hit my car or I get into any type of accident, bro, I'm going all out. I'm pulling down my inner Denzel, such as what my boy is doing. I'm pulling down my inner Leonardo DiCaprio, bro, because last time I got in an accident, a motherfucker did that to me, and it was her fault. So, yes, <laughs> yes, I am pulling out all the stop. They're going to give me an Oscar after I'm done. You, you, <laughs> you just ruined a nigga video, bro, with all that guy. Uh, he need, I oh, made a mistake, know. help, nigga, I rewind this shit. Watch out. This is somebody here in the military. Go get a check then, nigga. Bro, check it out. <laughs> He might be having a panic attack. He's having a panic attack, probably. That's it. He just having, <laughs> he having a panic attack. What panic? What? What did he say? I think he having a panic attack. I, I, don't, mm, I fucked up, too. I think he having a panic attack. I don't think he's actually faking it. But 
Let me tell you something, man. If you get in that, one of them type of situations, you know one thing I can say about Atlanta? People who not from here, if you listen to the radio, they're basically telling you if you get in an accident to call 1-800-411-PAIN. I think I just gave somebody free advertising. But yeah, 1-800-411-PAIN, bro. Like, they, they have rap songs on the radio about getting in car accidents and calling the lawyers. This this is shit they have in Atlanta, son. So, <laughs> that's not far-fetched for me. Make the rent. That's what you don't get, man. It's been, it's been literally two weeks. Two weeks he said he was going to flip my taxes. And I still haven't seen nothing yet. You don't know how long it takes to flip something. <laughs> I gave you the money two weeks ago, though. Okay, sometimes it might take a month to flip. I'm trying to get back on my feet right now. <laughs> we need gas. We still got Who's eight about to get miles in the car, to man. We still got eight miles to him. Who's about to get in the car? I'm irritated. It's my cousin. I got to pick him up real quick. Like, bro. You always complaining about something. Because don't I take know. care. Of if a nigga call me little baby over there, they never see him before. Cause that nigga been having everything but the jury. You said but the jury? Yeah, like a lot of niggas in Atlanta who. I think this is a skit though. Who got Navy Federal? No, 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 no. This is skit. Yeah, Navy, Navy for sure, but Navy taxes thirty k. Make the rent. That's what you don't get, baby. We came all the way over here for a gram. Man, we gotta get some money, come on, bro. You might as well get that for boy. free, man. I'm irritated. Mm -hmm. Clean and go clean yeah. my car out. Um, Son. Let me hold some more cash and I'll get back to you with the taxes. Are you serious? I need to pay for the food. I forgot. Yeah. First off, I know this is a skit, but these are the type of that say shit like slow motion or no motion. Can I get an amen? These are the type of bum ass that'll do one scam, get a thousand dollars, and be flexing that same thousand dollars for about a month all over Instagram. Spreading it all on their hand and all that. Same type of is that are breaking your house, steal your clothes, and act like they fly. I know, I know a few of those. I know a few of those. I'll drink to that. I know a few of those. I don't know how females be giving dudes like this. I never understand that. If you can't tell, I don't respect like that. The reason why I don't respect is like that is because you can't be friends with dudes like this. Dudes like this will bring the team down. You have something going for yourself, you bring them around, they find a way to fuck it up. You give them a good situation, for example, you hook them up with a job, because a lot of times, bro, they be needing jobs. They be needing jobs. They hustles don't make as much as working at McDonald's. I remember I had a back and forth with one time and he was adamant about you know his hustle i'm asking him how much he make i wasn't big on street pharmaceuticals like that i dibble dabbled in it but i wasn't big on that so i asked him how much he make he was like yo i do this and i be scamming i was like where so how much you make with all of that and then when he told me i was like bro that's a chick-fil-a check get a job to really risk their freedom just so they could brag about doing street shit i'm about to put on the new haitian loop undercut waist trainer see that dip oh jesus hold on I'm gonna keep it a hundred. Not just me. <laughs> I'm gonna be a hundred. Me and my wife got a thing for this woman right here. I'm being brutally honest with y'all. We have a thing for her. Cause she used to be in uh Desi Banks videos. I'm gonna go ahead and uh go ahead and Yes sir. I might need the whole bottle. I don't know what she finna do, but boy. <clears throat> it was up there. This is how you put it on. I have a size large. Squeeze you in with all your might. Zip it, pull it down, put it together. Uh, keep it going. Watch what I'm doing. Uh. But we're not finished. We have to wrap the belt around. I like to wrap mine a little lower because it gives me lower back support, you know. I have pain in my lower back, so it really helps. Mm. 
<laughs> and the waist is trained. It's trained now. It's great for back support. Talking about my posture. The breast undercut face. Breast to rest. Sir, I can help you pick him up several times a day. Yeah. So, and it's a great push up. Not that they need a push up, but they definitely push them. Hey, right, baby. I'm about to put on the. the Somebody just shot the club up. Somebody just shot the club up. You know what? Shout out to you, brother. Shout out to you. Toast, my brother. Toast. No disrespect. I'm married anyway. But, you know, yeah. Like I said at the beginning. Me and my wife, we, we had a crush on her. Yo. Hey, yo. <laughs> this is a cool ass drinking game, bro. <laughs> this is some shit you gotta play when you're drunk. God damn, he cocked, he cocked it back. Oh my Jesus. Oh, he can see. He can see. <laughs> he can see. Okay. Can you come? Can you please come over here? You're on. A, this is on a traffic stop, ma'am. Yes, it is. You can call Dennis Kohlmeyer right now. Okay. I'm telling you why I stopped you. You didn't stop at all. Did you not hear my lights or sirens or no, anything? No, I didn't actually. I was on the phone. Okay. Oh. Well, you're not supposed to be on the phone while you're driving either. Whoa. Yes, I am with hands free. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. Why are you so upset at me? I'm doing my job. You you just admitted to me that you were going 55 and a 35 on Phillips Road. Officer Christopher Foley. Christopher Foley. Can you stay over here, ma'am? This no, is a traffic. This is a this is a legal here. traffic stop. Do you have your ID? No, it's in my purse. Here. You have your purse right there. No, this is my lunch. Could you talk to your talk to Dennis? This is ridiculous. No way. No, she's not. She's not complying with any of my commands, ma'am. Do not go inside. Oh my God. Ma'am, come outside. You can't just go inside. This is a traffic yeah, stop. Here's yeah, your phone back. I understand the law better than you. So you're a DA? I am the DA. Okay. Okay, let me get you my badge. I am the DA in the, of Monroe You know what I've been dealing with all day? Three murders in the city. And do you think I really care if I was going 20 miles over the speed limit? I'm the DA. I was going... Hey, nobody is above the law. But to be quite honest with you, I hate traffic stops. And when I say I hate traffic, I'm, let me be more specific. I hate the fact that cops hide in the most random places to catch you speeding. But when they're on their way back to the station or they are randomly driving, they speed themselves. So him saying that, oh, you was doing 55 and a 35, that don't mean shit to a motherfucker like me. When out here, I see cops doing a 100 and a 65 to just randomly driving on the highway. They're not going to no emergency. They're not going anywhere. Just randomly driving on the highway doing a 100 and a 65. About myself. We're gonna pray together. We're gonna pray together, right? This is how we're gonna start it out. We're gonna thank God for everything. Y'all ready? Woo, Dear Heavenly Father, we just come today, God. We just wanna thank you for everything before we had an audacity to ask for anything. God, we just say thank you for life. Come on, y'all. Thank, thank you, God. God. Thank you, God, for help. 
if you ain't never been to Atlanta, <laughs> this some Atlanta ass shit right here. He praying to the Lord with a strap in his thigh. And I don't blame him. Oh, thank you for strength. Thank you for family, friends, and loved ones. God, we thank you for the good days as well as the bad days, God. For the thing we understand as well as the things that we don't understand. But we trust in you that you got a plan for our life and a purpose. God, we ask that you right now forgive us of our sins. Anything we thought, said, or done, just pleasing in your sight. God, I speak blessings over these young ladies' life. I ask that you bless them mentally, physically, spiritually, financially, and emotionally, God, in abundance. God, I ask that you bless their family, friends, and loved ones. Keep them safe. Give them peace. Give them wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. But more importantly, God, help them to understand who they are, that they're worth something, that they got value. God, we just love you. We thank you how we started, how we ended. Everybody say thank you, God. Thank, thank you, God. Thank you, God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Forget the fact that he had that strap in his thigh, man. My boy was doing something good. You know what I'm saying? He was coming in a positive message. And is, there's nothing wrong with protecting yourself. Hi, you guys. I'm at Walmart right now, and I'm in Chicago. And I want you guys to come with me to look at the new products that we have in the store. It's the first time I'm seeing them on the shelves, so I'm super excited. I want to share this moment with you guys, so let's go. It's crazy. Yeah. As y'all, so we're in the beauty aisle right now. I know it's going to be coming up somewhere soon. I'm nervous. I've never seen this before. So let's got to look for the hair care section. That's crazy. Look at this. Oh. Yo, I'm in Walmart, bro. This is crazy. Look at my face, bro. Look at my face. <laughs> oh, smokes. This is crazy. So we got the brush here for $10.55. Hey, I'm I'm genuinely happy for this man, bro. Um, for those of y'all who don't know, this this is Nick Wavy. Uh when I was doing wave videos, when I first started YouTube, Nick Wavy was one of the first people who had a following to actually support. You know what I'm saying? Bro, he actually supported. I ain't gonna lie, I did a diss track on Nick Wavy, but really, it's because I was trying to get him to, to respond back because at the time, that's what was popping. And to me, like the whole wave, they call it the wave game back in the day, it was boring. So I'm like, bro, you know, I do a diss track, you do a diss track back, but where I messed up at is I should have texted him like, yo, bro, I'm finna do a diss track on you. We should, like, start going back and forth or whatever. But you know what I'm saying? Bro, real talk, shout out to Nick Wavy. I'm proud of you, bro. For real, for real. I'm proud of you. And we got the lid on club for 692. Yo, this is insane. I'm here with the big dogs now, bro. My boy in Walmart, boy. Oh my gosh. Shout out to I'm you, dog. I'm about to buy all this, bro. Wait. That's with Cup Buddy, too, right? That's with Cup Buddy. Hey. Yo, Cup Buddy was the first... First affiliate sponsorship, whatever I had on YouTube. I still get paid off of people buying the Cup Buddy from like videos I dropped like five years ago, son. Shout out to Cup Buddy also, man. Congratulations, Nick. You deserve it, man.